hello friends welcome to my youtube channel friends today i am going to show you how to change the keyboard of lenovo idea pad 110110 we have a laptop that contains the error of keyboard so today i am going to show you how to disassemble the lenovo idea pad 110 laptop and how to replace the keyboard okay friends let's start Okay friends, first of all you have to unscrew all the screws, remove all the screws from laptop, like this, remove all the screws. After removing the screws, now remove this DVD writer by pressing here, okay, this is our DVD writer, remove it, and you will see here are three screws, remove those screws. Okay, I have removed. After removing all the screws and DVD writer, now you have to take a small tuser and with the help of this tuser, you have to open all these locks like this in this gap point. Remove all these locks. Okay, I have bricked it. Okay, and remove the cover. Okay, friends, I have removed the cover. Okay, look at here. After opening the cover, now unscrew all these elements and disassemble all these cables and connections. First of all, remove the hard drive. It's too hard, so okay. Remove the hard drive now. Disconnect all the cables and connections. Now we have removed all the cables and connection. Now unscrew the board screws and remove it. It's too tight. Do it gently and softly. Okay. Now remove the board. Okay, here is also a lock, it's a seal, remove it. Now I have run screws, all the screws on board, remove the board from printer and also remove this cable. Okay, this is our main board. Okay, now separate the LCD part from this motherboard part. To remove this, unscrew this. Remove the battery by unscrewing. Okay. This is our battery. Now, remove the speakers. and remove all these cables from this lock part and also remove this cable we have unscrewed all here and now we can separate this area pull out little more and then pull 
pull down so so like this wise we removed the motherboard casing area from this LCD part now we have to remove this keyboard from this area to remove we have to first of all here are locks we have to remove these locks from this area and remove this metal part from this body and we can remove this keyboard now remove all these locks from here with the help of small knife likewise remove all these locks Now remove this metal area from here. Okay, I am going to remove it. I forget to remove this. Okay. okay I have removed this metal area from here now it's time to remove our keyboard from here okay to remove the keyboard here is also some locks you have to open all these locks with the help of knife do it gently Likewise, remove all these locks so you can easily remove the keyboard from this casing. Okay. Likewise, pull the keyboard out. okay look at here this is our keyboard which contains the error now replace the keyboard by the new one okay i have here a new keyboard this is my new keyboard and this is my old keyboard so now i have to put this new keyboard in this casing the casing looks like this okay now put the keyboard in this casing make sure you lock all these locks in this cable in this keyboard after putting the keyboard in this casing now you have to lock all these parts all these small holes by using iron here's here are some small points you have to lock this point by using iron okay i am going to lock it like this lock all these keyboard points so keyboard can't move okay like this lock all these points
I'm going to lock this. Okay. After locking the keyboard in this casing, now it is time to assemble our board in the casing. Okay, now assemble the board. Swing in the video. Now put the keyboard cable Connect the touchpad cable Now, now connect the LCD now to connect the LCD, put the board like this and then look like this. Now you screw the error shown in the hole only screw in the hole that is shown by the error okay Now connect the cable. Now connect the wireless LAN cable. Okay. Now it's time to put our hard disk. Screw it. Okay, we had screwed our hard disk. Then it's time to put this cable. It's our video cable.
now add this cable in this place okay we had also assembled the video cable now it's time to put the speaker in this place now assemble the battery and put the screw in those two holes now connect the battery with the board and lock it here put the speaker cable connection in the board okay now finally it's time to put this casing cover now tight now tight those screw in this holes okay now finally put this dvd writer Now screw all these holes. Likewise, tight all the screws. After tightening all these screws, now it's time to check. Finally. Okay, by following the procedure shown in the video, you can change your keyboard on Lenovo IdeaPad 110-110 laptop IdeaPad. So, thanks for watching. Keep updated. Keep subscribed. Okay, bye-bye.